Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out and reviewing the new Bite Mascara. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I have not tested out a new mascara in a minute. I actually haven't even done a makeup review on my channel in a while. So I'm excited to sit down and talk about this new mascara. I have my Holy Grail combo. I'm actually gonna do my holy girl combo on one eye and the new bite mascara on the other just so you can see a full side by side comparison of the two um, i've been using the combo that i love for a couple of years now and i do not really stray away from it which is why i haven't really like reviewed another mascara in a while um, but i keep seeing stuff about this bite mascara and i feel the need that i needed to test it out so first of all let's talk about the packaging i do have the box still I saved the box so that I could show you the outer carton of it. This is what it looks like. Just a really basic outer carton. And then this is the actual tube. It's this really pretty rose gold with the black lettering and just a round tube. It is a pretty fat tube and the wand is an hourglass wand. I know it's hard to tell the size of a tube just by itself, but for comparison, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise is always my first layer for my Holy Grail combo, but just looking at the two, like the L'Oreal is much smaller of a tube in comparison. So this is a pretty hefty tube. Like with all mascara reviews, I like to have no other eye makeup on just so that you can really see the lashes and I do the full two coats like the exact way that I, knew, I do my mascara because I want to give it as much of a chance as humanly possible so first i'm going to go in with my holy grail combo and that is the l'oreal lash paradise as my first coat and then the hourglass caution extreme lash mascara as my second coat this combo is so good so i'm going to do that on this eye first i'm going to speed through it and then we're going to go through and see how the bite mascara holds up. I have used this a couple of times, but I have not used it side by side to see like real time results. So I'm interested to see how they look side by side, but I have used this a few times already. So first we're going to curl. I've talked about this lash curler a million times but hopefully you can see the difference in curling your lashes versus not. I have very straight lashes, so curling them is a necessity, but that lash curler in particular is just outstanding. So first up is my coat of the uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise, and I'm gonna do everything how I normally do it. Actually, we're just going to move to the other eye and do the first coat of the bite mascara because I like to let my lashes dry so it makes sense to just do um, going back and forth instead of waiting for everything and then doing the second eye at a different time so I'm just gonna go in and do the second eye now this one is actually pretty similar in shape to the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which is also like the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'll just kind of show you the shape really quick since we're already here. The one from Bite has a little bit more of an exaggerated curve. So the L'Oreal's on the top and then the Bite is on the bottom. So as you can see right in the middle there, the curve is definitely more exaggerated for the Bite Mascara. But I'm gonna go in and do the exact same technique. Anytime I do my mascara, I go in after I do my first coat and comb out my lashes with this curved eyelash brush. This brush is incredible. I will link it below. It's like $5 on Amazon and it is the best thing ever. I've had straight ones for years, but I found this one earlier last year and I have not looked back. 
So I'm going to brush out my lashes. If you do this, please be very, very, very careful. You can tear out your lashes if you're not careful. But I do like to just get all of the just like clumpiness out of them before I go in with another coat. That's the way that I get mine to look really separated. And yeah, so I'm gonna do that on this eye. Then we'll go in with the hourglass. And if you're wondering how I do this, I put the comb at the base of my lashes and then I kind of wiggle it back and forth lightly. I don't pull away from my eye because you will rip your lashes out, but just gently wiggle it until it goes through the lashes. And then I do recurl them as well, which is another thing when you're letting go of this, you have to be careful because your eyes already have mascara on them. So the lashes can stick to this. You have to be really careful when you're pulling it off. This is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. This is what I go in with for my second coat, always. So we're gonna go in and do the second coat. And I'm going to repeat the exact same things on the other side, combing out my lashes, recurling, then we'll go in with the second coat of the bite. This is the finished look for both of them. So I'm just gonna give you a really close up right now so you can see how they look. I just realized that I never gave you the rundown of the Bite Mascara. So I did pull up the Sephora website so that I can give you the full details. It is called the Upswing Full Volume Mascara. It retails for $28. And on here it says what it is, a clean volumizing flake resistant mascara that delivers major lift length and curl for supersized lash lashes. And the formulation type is volumizing, curling, and lengthening, which is totally up my alley. So after trying this out a couple of times, like I said, this is the third time that I have tried out this mascara, but the first time that I've done the side-by-side -side of my favorite combo versus this one. And I will say, I do really like this mascara but the one thing I'm not the biggest fan of is when I do the second coat, I feel like this eye looks a little bit clumpier than this eye looks. And that's something that, like I explained earlier, I like to comb through my lashes so I don't have that clumpy look. This formula is a little bit wetter than the Hourglass Caution Extreme is. And I personally, I like the wetter formula, which is what the L'Oreal Lash Paradise is, as my first coat. Like this would be a great first coat mascara for me, but then the second coat, I want it to be a little bit drier so that I have more control over not clumping any of my lashes together because I feel like it looks fuller and I don't know, just more flattering on me personally if my lashes are nice and separated. So that is my personal opinion. This is very, very volumizing. It's really, really black. I feel like it held the curl nicely, especially considering my lashes are straight as straight and it's very, very dark and it doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge. Like, I think that it has amazing qualities to it and I'm going to continue using it. But for me personally, I think that the Hourglass Caution Extreme is just a better option as my second coat or in general because of what I am looking for. So I would love to know below which one that you like better. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, that is everything for this video. Overall, I would say I do like this mascara. If you're looking for something very volumizing, this is a great option. It is comparable to the Lash Paradise, which is also comparable to the Too Faced Better Than Sex, although the Better Than Sex and the Too Faced or and the L'Oreal are so similar that I would say go for the L'Oreal even though it dries out quickly. Um, but this is a comparable formulation 
to that one. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this makeup review. Let me know down below if you want to see more makeup reviews from me. If you do, what should I review next? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.